welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. He's out to the 30. Brought down at the 34. The quarterback brings his troops out out of the field for the first drive of the game. Second and six. Ball on the 38-yard line. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Five wide. He's taken down at the 48. The defense might be licking their chops right now, Herbie. We've got to change at the quarterback position. We know the kid is talented, but you got to know the defense is going to come after him. First and 10. Ball on their own 48. pickup of three. Just a great job here by the defender of timing the hit and getting him down. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. I think the secondary caught a break there with that ball being overthrown to the tight end. I know he's a big fella, but he's still a playmaker, and that had big play written all over. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. He's going to try and scramble, and he tackles him hard at the 43-yard line. He has one job on passing situations, get to the quarterback, and he did that job very, very well on that play. Ingram awaiting the return. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Ingram fields it at the 13. They'll bring him down at the 23-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Shoved out of bounds at about the 25-yard line. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on their own 25. There's a strike complete. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. run there. Brink gains about five yards on the run. That brings him second and five. Second and five. Ball on the 39. Gets to about the 41-yard line. So the halfback gets only two on the draw play. backfield quarterback in the gun five wide receivers 
Frisco at the 45-yard line. I think he just barely got it. That's a great job by both the quarterback and receiver to keep this drive alive. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 45. He'll get it again. He's tackled at the 46. again on third down. And they make the stop, the 39-yard line. Fires it out. And they pick up the first down with a pass to the tight end. It's easy to forget about the tight end sometimes coming off the line. But you always have to watch this guy because he's certainly capable of making big plays. We're at play number nine of this current drive. And he's taken down right around the 40. It's second and 11. Ball on the 40-yard line. the 27-yard line. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Brought down around the 19-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Inside the 10, and he's in there. Touchdown. Very impressive run by the halfback to find the end zone. Good play call here by the offensive coordinator. He realizes when you get down into the red zone and you have a halfback like this, just give him the ball and let him find his way into the end zone. And he converts the extra point. A 12-play, 77-yard drive, and they put up seven points. The score now, 7-0. Church has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He's out to the 30. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. Kirk, you're going to love the way this football game has started for this team. They put a lot of work into it, and it's working for them. Right yeah, they've, they've been able to capture the momentum of this game early. It's such a pivotal part of winning a college football game is holding on to that now. Let's just see if they're able to maintain it. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Looks left, finding his tailback. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. Seven, nothing. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. right around the 42-yard line. From their own 42-yard line, it's third down. He might not be able to get the pass off. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Fumble, and they fall on the loose ball. They work hard, and they got the turnover. Uh, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. Oh. 
With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. to his tight end. They'll bring him down right around the 48-yard line. And that's pretty impressive. Accuracy is important, but just as important as having receivers that can make plays. From the 48-yard line, first down. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. He just never had a chance to get any running room. The defense was on him almost as soon as the ball was snapped. Gets it off as he's hit. Complete. Knocked out of bounds at the 47-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 38. And here's a quick throw. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. That makes it first and ten. Side for a nice game. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Got an opening. Tackle made at the 15 yard line. He's in trouble. He rifles it. And it's incomplete. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Tackled after decent pickup. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it third. So we're looking at another third down here. tackled at the eight yard line he picked up around three yards on the draw play and if they can connect on this one that'll put him up by a couple of scores he gets it up and the field goal is good and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff Brought down by the kicker. Spread everywhere we go when we travel over the country. People want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread or the pistol. Hurry up tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. Strike to his receiver, no good. from their own 37-yard line. It's second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Caught, and that's a first down. Good open field tackle. Great play for the offense and a great call by the offense. But the defense has to change things up. They've got to put more pressure on this quarterback. down 10 yards to go ball on the 38 
Fires out quickly to the tailback. They tried a little play fake that time and got maybe a yard. This was just a little dump off pass to the halfback, but it was very well defended, keeping them from moving the ball very far downfield. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 37-yard line. And he's level at the 24-yard line. Got a receiver, and he dropped it. Second and ten. Ball on the 24. Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. That's a great tackle at the 21-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Quick out to his receiver. What a play, and that is first and goal. The defense might need to make some changes to their coverage scheme because that was just too easy. And this play is number eight on the drive. They go to the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. It's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss. But this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it, and the holes will start to open up. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. Well, it's third and goal, and they're 10 yards out. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick strike, and he drops it. Terrific coverage, and when you clog up passing lanes like that, you can force a quarterback to make some poor decisions. Almost got themselves a turnover, too. Kicks up, and it is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. They line up to kick this one away. Ingram takes it at the 16. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle, and that's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. And at this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 36-yard line, second down. Gets it out quickly. He lets it fly. The defender had it and then dropped it. Meade is waiting for the snap. And he's tackled at the 22. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. They'll knock him down for a loss. A great first half comes to a close. 
Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. We've been looking forward to this game all week and it has lived up to billing a close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think is on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreet and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some AstroTurf right here? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Yancey takes it at the 16. Tackle at the 36. So we're just about ready to return to action. Here's the give. He's taken down at the 48-yard line. From the 48-yard line, first down. run up the gut. Brink gets six yards on the carry. That'll make it second and four. Defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that one. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 38. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Got it. And he goes down quickly. And they don't get the first. The defense holds, and the ball will change hands. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And they make the stop around the 37-yard line. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. So it's second and 13. Ball on their own 37. Plenty of time in the pocket. Aaron and out long. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. Got hit and still completed it. He's pushed out of bounds around the 42-yard line. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Oklahoma! 
Misdirection handoff. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. He gets four, maybe five yards on the counter. That brings him second and five. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. Gets to about the 34-yard line. That's a good one. Under heavy pressure. Brought down at about the 41. It definitely put them in better field position. I just have a feeling that they're going to punch it into the end zone on this drive. From the 41 yard line, it's first down. Off on the counter, and down he goes at the 32 yard line. That brings up second and one. Church goes with a play fake, he zips it, finds the freshman, and he's taken down around the six yard line. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. He's in for the touchdown. It shouldn't have surprised these guys to see the run coming out, but they just couldn't stop it. Converts the extra point. Herbie, we saw this guy go to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury. He's pretty important to this team, and uh, they're going to have to find a way to work through this win without him. You know, sometimes you see defenses play good in stretches. This has been the longest stretch I've seen one defense play in a football game in a long time. Yeah, I think the consistency is the thing that stands out. I think they got off to a great start. At halftime, they made a few adjustments, and they've come out even played better, believe it or not, here in this second half. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. From their own 24-yard line, second down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. to catch it. He's got nowhere to go. Quick shot to the tailback and through his hands. Ingram is back deep to return the punt. Ingram fields at the 31, looking for the corner. Well, Kirk, a slight halftime lead now has grown here in the third quarter. I'm a big believer in the first five minutes to start the second half can be a game changer, and we've seen that today. This team came out with a bit of a lead, but they've come out with a little bit of an extra step to them, and I think it's allowed them to be able to build on their lead, and now they're in complete control of this game. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 42. 
The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Slings it out there incomplete. From the 13 yard line, first down. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. 17 3. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 13 yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run. three here. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Herbie, this is kind of fun to watch. You don't usually give defenses credit for a win, but that's what's going to happen. Here. Now, we're in an era of college football where it's always about the offense or the quarterback. This has been fun to watch a game where the defense has really asserted itself, and they've been the reason that this team has the lead. He's got it out to his tight end. He's tackled at the 40. What a play. Boy, a solid job there by the quarterback, recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver. From their own 40-yard line, first down. one for the end zone. Incomplete. Almost picked off. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. Second and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. Number one, the intended receiver on the play. That brings us third and ten. Throws 
almost completely stopped immediately. So they're going to go for it here. Just under three to go in regulation. And they sack him on fourth down. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. A conversion there could have really helped them, but it just wasn't to be. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And he's level at the 47. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Bring him down at the 45. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. They can get some protection. They might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. Conley takes a handoff. Tackle for a loss. got the block on and this offensive line's got to give him some time. to the 30 and he's taken down at the 30. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. Under a minute left. Going deep. And he got it. Tackle right around the 10 yard line. A heck of a play by the receiver. We talk all the time about the emotions of college football. This play was definitely an emotionally charged play. What a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. It's second and 10. Ball on the 10. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. I think he could have taken a risk down the field, but he played it safe instead, and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's taken down right around the two-yard line. Steps up in the pocket. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. Well, that'll give them something positive to end on, but today, no, it just wasn't their day. He splits the uprights with the extra point. should do it. Our final tally in this one. 20-10. So that wraps things up for us. Free A Sports and Kirk Kirk Street. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks and we'll see you next time.